Over time, changes to the conveyor will occur. The belt may be repaired or replaced. Material may build up on the underside of the belt. Or the conveyor belt tension may change. All of these factors influence the accuracy of the belt scale system. Performing regular calibrations of the belt scale system will help ensure accurate and consistent weighing of your bulk solids. The first step in the calibration procedure is the zero calibration. The zero calibration ensures that we are monitoring only the bulk solids on the conveyor. The weight of the scale idler and of the conveyor belt need to be eliminated. The first step in the zero calibration is identifying the number of belt revolutions and entering that into parameter 360. Ideally, the time to take a zero calibration is five minutes. By performing a quick calculation based on conveyor belt length and belt speed, we can identify the number of belt revolutions. In our application, we calculated it will take 18 belt revolutions to perform five minutes of belt runtime. On the BW500, press the parameter key, then press 360 to access parameter 360. Press the enter key to switch to edit mode, and then press 1, 8, followed by the enter key. We are now ready to perform a zero calibration. Ensure that the calibration weights are not on the belt scale. Start the conveyor belt and make certain that no material is running on the conveyor. Press the zero key. In the top right corner of the LCD is the zero count number. If this number is zero, then no previous zero calibration has been performed. If this number is not zero, then this will be the baseline count for our zero calibration. Press the enter key to start the calibration. During the calibration process, the new zero count number will be generated. Once the calibration process is complete, the BW500 will display the latest zero count value and the percent deviation from the previous value. If the zero calibration deviation is acceptable, press the enter key to complete the zero calibration. The final step in the calibration procedure is the span calibration. The span calibration uses calibration weights to ensure the belt scale load cells are working properly. Before you perform a span calibration, make sure the conveyor belt is stopped and locked out per your company's safety procedure. Then apply the calibration weight onto the belt scale and restart the conveyor. Press the span key on the BW500. Press the enter key to start the span calibration. During the calibration process, a new span count number will be generated. Once the calibration process is complete, the BW500 will display the latest span count value and the percent deviation from the previous value. If the span calibration deviation is acceptable, please press the enter key to complete the span calibration. Stop and lock out the conveyor, then remove the calibration weight from the belt scale and store them nearby. The belt scale system is now ready for operation. Press the run key on the BW500. When your conveyor is running and the bulk solids begin to cross over the belt scale, you will see the loading value on the BW500. If this was the initial calibration procedure for the belt scale system, we recommend doing a zero and span again before starting operation. Regular calibrations should be made to the belt scale system to ensure the highest possible accuracy. Thank you.